Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with Nia Douglas, Public Relations Director of the Interact Club of Rural Town, and Deidre Potter, Interact Advisor and Director of Youth Services Rotary Club of Rural Town. Welcome to Spotlight. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, y'all look bright and cheery. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I can expect a laugh from Deidre. Interact, y'all are doing some uh, positive things. It's a, a, a group, uh, uh, the young group of of Rotary. Mm -hmm. uh, how old do you have to be to be in the, what's the age, age range for persons uh, joining Rotary? Interact. 12 to 18. 12 to 18. So you all are the, the little older set of young people. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I'm not 18 anymore. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're all grown up. On I show. am, I am. I remember, I remember you from Teen Talk I know. back in the day. Okay. And now you are uh, the Interact Advisor. And what, what's your role as an advisor? Um, I actually am a member of the Rotary Club of Rotown. Mm -hmm. I joined Daddy's Rotary Club. So um, as the Director for Youth Services, I basically play the advisory role of all the youth arms. So we have Early Act, which is the primary school level. Interact is high school, 12 to 18. We have Rotaract, which is um, 18 to 30. And all f three of those um, youth arms, we have about five clubs total. We have two early act clubs. We have uh, one Interact club, which is a community-based, whereas the early act clubs are school-based. And then we have two Rotaract clubs, one in Virgin Gorda and one in Tortola. So we take care of five youth arms. And you advise them uh, to do what? Um, basically, on their governing, um, I assist in their planning of their activities, whether they're community service projects, their international projects. We form, we, we, we're more of a support system for them because the clubs are self-governing. They're in charge of their own governing and finances. We just sort of support them. We assist them where we can. We um, try to get our members as engaged as possible, um, whether it's to offer mentorship, whether it's to offer human resources, manpower for their projects, to do joint projects or what have you, um, to assist with financing and getting sponsorships and what have you. We're really more of a support system for them more than anything else, mm -hmm. guiding them. And, and what, what, is, what is Interact? Uh, I don't know, uh, Nia, you want to take that? <coughs> Interact is a club that allows its members to become actively involved in the community while developing leadership and public speaking skills. Uh, there's a number of committees that they can join within the club. They plan and coordinate their own events. There are a minimum of two community and service projects that you have to complete in each Interact year. So it's a community and service club, but it's also a chance to help you develop yourself and interact socially with other youth. Okay. And um, you're celebrating something this week, this month. What, what, what is Interact celebrating? We have Interact Week this week. <clears throat> and it started from Monday? Mm. Um, actually, it's the week of the 5th of November. Oh, okay. But this year, it was pushed back to one week because our district governor visited. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to focus on the DG and then focus on Interact the other week. So Interact Week just basically celebrates the good work that the club has done for the community and promote the club and their activities throughout the community. Is there a theme? I know most uh, celebrations have a theme. No theme. No, 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 theme. no theme. It's just called Interact Week. Just called Interact Maybe next year we'll, we'll, you know. Develop a theme. <laughs> develop a theme. Yeah. And you're celebrating all the contributions that you've made to the, to the community. That is correct. And, and what, um, what have you been doing in the community? Well, we recently volunteered at the animal shelter and donated some money. And as usual, we've been face painting in the community. We always offer our, our face painting services, which has been going on, on for a while in the history of the club. We're um, known for our face painting. And we've done hikes up Trunk Bay and regular cleanups. So that's what we've done so far for this current Interact term. OK. And you had um, some, didn't you party a little bit? Don't you have some fun? <laughs> Fellowship is a part of it, mm -hmm. but um, it's about learning the balance. So community service first, service above self is a motto. So first and foremost, we learn that it's about serving your community. 
and um, building your professional, your personal development, and then, you know, while having fun. So fun is sort of, you know, secondary to our primary goal of community service and self-development. Okay. So I know you had like, some uh, event uh, recently where you had some fun, you had some pictures that you brought with you. Oh, yes. Right? I wanna, we um, were showing the Animal Shelter Project uh -huh. where they donated food. They also, um, the, the one on the screen right now is our International Coastal Cleanup. We also did the Animal Shelter Project, so mm -hmm. that's them. We helped out. We bathed the dogs, walked the dogs. We um, donated dog, cat food, um, rabbit food, some doggy treats. Um, so that's us. <laughs> Everybody, hands on that. We even had some parents come out and join in the fun. This is our International Coastal Cleanup. This was a Rotary family project. So we had both the Rotary Club of Rotown, the Rotary Club of Tortola, the Rotary Clubs, and the Interact Club. Um, going out and cleaning up the coast around Trellis Bay. This is an annual thing that we do. This right here is our vocational talk. The month of October on the Rotary calendar is vocational month. So basically, professionals and Rotarians speak to interactors about their careers, their vocations, um, what they do, how they got involved, some of the skills that they developed or they had to hone in order to become whatever. Some of the personal development that they went through, maybe some of the challenges and the path that they took to get where they are going. Because as you know, Interact is high, basically high school age group. And so they're about to go to college or think about what they want to do for the rest of their life or for part of their life. So vocational talks, that was a very important thing that we did for them. And this is the face painting that, that you is were talking face painting. about. Uh, Interactors are yeah. well known. This is like from way back in my day, 2002. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, when Interact That's first back. started. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm old. I tell you, I'm not as young as I used to be. But Interact started in 2002. I was actually the first president. And face painting was something we did even way back then. We have a few signature projects that we started back in 2002 that we still carry on throughout the year. Um, this picture right now is our youth arms meeting in celebration of youth, young people in September, the youth arms hosted our Rotary meeting, the Rotary Club of Rotown. And so we had an amazing turnout. This picture is just the Interact Club. Mm. We also had both the Rotaract Clubs. So we had a hundred plus young people there. It was amazing, but we had a lot of fun. We always love when they host their meetings. How many members in the group? Um, in Interact, we have Interact, about yeah. 35 active members. We have some prospective members coming on stream. And we had a few members leave for school lately, so we lost a few. Okay. And you talk to the young people about, uh, you get uh, any special training, uh, leadership development, uh, career, uh, goal planning? How, uh, well, what, what, what sort of intellectual stimulation <laughs> do you get uh, <laughs> in the club? Well, being on the board, we had board training that was, I guess, fostered by the parent clubs. And, you know, we went in and we got, we took, got little workshops and presentations about being leaders and how to manage stuff. And we took notes and it was very, it was like going to a workshop, like going to school and it was very helpful. But, you know, just being in the club, like Dee said, there's vocational talks, there's presentations that we get regularly and they're actually very interesting and helpful because even though for the vocational talk I always was so sure what I wanted to do in life I really enjoyed learning about the different jobs because you can tell when people are so passionate about what they do it's kind of inspiring and fun to learn about what happens in university getting to that point hard work you know and I even decided when learning about what architects do I was so inspired I told my friend she should be an architect even though it didn't benefit me <laughs> mm -hmm. I still was you know so inspired by it. I took a lot from the talk that I um, brought into my own life and my own friends you know okay. and so the, the board training uh, taught you leadership skills like how to manage a organization and mm -hmm. how to, to run things and organize and so on is that yeah. what that was about effective management working with groups cooperatively just different things about setting goals, kind of theoretical stuff. But in addition to that, the interactors plan their own projects. So they have an opportunity to do team building and project management. They're very hands-on with their project. So some of that uh, 
that those talks and that training exactly comes into in, play in, in, exactly. In activities exactly and so you develop as a young person and and, and get a, i guess get a, get a sense of direction exactly okay now uh how how do you join how do you become a, 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 a interactor you attend interact our meetings are 3 p.m at the department of youth of Youth Affairs and Sports, tongue tied, mm -hmm. on Saturdays, 3 p.m. You attend four meetings and then you attend a service project as well as a membership orientation. But the membership orientation, you don't necessarily have to attend the membership orientation before you're installed. But it's, it's conducted whether, if we have a substantial amount of um, individuals, whether before, or maybe we'll wait a little. Um, until after but mandatory four consecutive meetings and a service project that gives you the gist of what interact is about and you really understand whether this is a organization that you want to be a part of or not okay now you have some upcoming events yes we do okay you want to talk a little bit about that interact week and um, you're gonna have uh, so this week for interact we, we started off with our spiritual meeting uh, the spiritual meeting was more bringing church to us so we had uh, youth pastor Mitch Turnbull, mm -hmm. and he spoke about how to be successful um, while dealing with temptation and peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very amazing presentation. Tonight, we're here with you. Yes. And tomorrow, they'll be hosting the Rotary Club of Rotown's meeting. On Friday, they'll be doing a water sale for polio. That's one of Rotary's biggest um, projects. And then on Saturday, they have a fun day at Peter Island. But then that's just Interact Week. Um, in the month of November, we have our annual Thanksgiving luncheon with the students from the Island Henley Roche Learning Center. Like I said, that's something we started way back in, way, way back in 2002. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that we're glad is still going on and going strong. So in addition to that, in December, Interact does their <coughs> gift wrapping and bake sale. This year, they will be partnering with Tree of Hands, a project by Alexander Durant and her mom, assisting families in the communities to have an amazing Christmas, whether it's assisting with the payment of electricity bills or providing the bare basics for young people and families in our community. They'll be doing a joint project with the Rotaract Club of Virgin Gorda, which is a clothing drive. That's later this week. Um, some of the clothing will go to uh, school in Haiti, as well as a uh, community in St. Vincent. They'll be doing a fun exercise with the Rotaract Club of Tortola, a tart making session. Mm. We might, you know, invite you to that. Yeah, I love some tech. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's a tradition that's important that we pass on to the young people, and it's fun. So we'll be doing that. Um, in addition to that, just to look into 2015, like we said, Rotary has themed months. And so in the month of February, World well, before Understanding you, before Month. Before you go to February, you have some things coming up in December? Oh, yeah, or face painting or... Um, Tree of Hands joint project, and the, that was it, the gift wrapping, their bake sale, the Tree of Hands is a joint project for mm -hmm. that month. Mm -hmm. um, so in February, a World Understanding Month, they usually have a Valentine's dinner, which is a fundraiser. And Interact's fundraisers, all the money that is raised from the community goes back into community projects. It's not spent on fun and frolicking and fellowship it goes back, every single penny goes back into the community. So do not be afraid to support Interact. Had to put that plug there. <laughs> um, in addition to their Valentine's dinner, they're going to have a cultural meeting and potluck. So each member is going to research a country, maybe make a treat or a dish from that country and present it to the club. Um, most likely we'll in engage the other clubs as well. Um, in March, Literacy Month, we're hoping to do a literacy theater and improv session where we sort of act out some of our favorite books. So maybe we'll try to get you in on that. You could be, you know. An uh, actor? Yes. Yeah. Maybe you could uh, be uh, a uh, giant or Jack and the Beanstalk or giant? something. Something. It's improv Isn't that a and theater. Stretch, that no, stretch. it's not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always wanted to be an actor. 
<laughs> see? So, see? I, I, might, I might just take you apart. Perfect. Yes. Absolutely. Per and you look good on the camera. This true? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so in addition to that, in April, um, during the Easter and spring break, we want to do interact per job where they're able to job shadow and get some mentorship so that speaks more to their career dreams and aspirations. And then for the rest of the year, because the year ends in June, we'll do some fun, engaging stuff and maybe a board retreat so that they can um, get some more training and the incoming board can also get training. Okay. So there's so a got, lot in store. You got, uh, you got a lot, lot of activities yeah, going they keep, on. Yeah, they keep me busy. Keep you busy. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Well, okay. always. <laughs> well, we have a, a couple of minutes remaining. Uh, and, you know, um, maybe you should uh, encourage young people to join Interact. Uh, what, what do you say to young people who are um, looking for something uh, interesting uh, to become a member of, make want to make a contribution to the community, want to learn something, develop themselves socially, uh, intellectually. What, what, what do you say to those young people? I guess don't be afraid to try it. Maybe bring a friend. Every, anyone and everyone is welcome. You can really learn a lot and benefit from it. It's not tedious. It's not hard. It's not difficult. It really benefits yourself. It helps you develop new skills and it might even help you get out of your comfort zone and also you can give back to the community who gives you so much already and that's a, a very beneficial thing that you want to develop and take with you in life well thank you very much it was a real pleasure thank to, you uh, to have you both uh, Neil Douglas and DJ Pata of uh, Interact and your Rotary. Rotary. I'm not club. 18 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great to have had you on, uh, on Spotlight. And for persons that want to join the Interact Club, they can... Just come to a meeting. Parents can even come to a meeting if they're interested. And that's every Saturday, every Saturday at, at 3 p.m. Department of Youth Affairs, Affairs and, and Sports. Sports. Yes. Uh, in Road Town. Yeah. All right, great. We're going to take a break for a word from our sponsors. When we come back, we're going to have with us the visiting chef. With the, she's in the territory to compete with our local chefs and develop a taste of the BVI. It's going to be uh, really exciting. We're also going to have with us Miss Abigail O'Neill. She's a social media and online marketing manager, as well as Miss Kishama Robinson of Caribbean Sellers going to be an uh, interesting discussion about all the activities that's coming up restaurant week and the taste of Tortola and we're going to really get to see how various produce in the BVI get turned into gourmet meals. It's going to be really interesting. Stick around. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited and H. Lavity South Community College. 